Having finished the States Assembly meeting earlier today, I've since visited the Nightingale Hospital down here at Millbrook uh, with the Lieutenant Governor and with the bailiff to meet the team hard at work on this critical project. And I was also accompanied, obviously, by the Health Minister and the Minister for DFI as well. Before I talk more about the work underway here, I do just want to update you on our daily uh, test results and the current capacity within the General Hospital. So we've now tested 2,281 samples for COVID-19 and have reached 1,973 negative results and 255 positive results. Of those with positive results, 43% are male and 57% are female. The average age of those who have tested positive is 54 and we're currently awaiting the results of 48 outstanding tests. 151 islanders have now fully recovered from coronavirus, having originally tested positive. And of those who've recovered, 42% are male and 58% are female, and their average age is 49. Sadly, I have to confirm that 18 islanders have now passed away, having tested positive or being suspected of having coronavirus. And our thoughts and prayers are with all their families and friends. There are currently 74 islanders being treated in the general hospital for a range of medical conditions. Of those, the number of coronavirus patients remains at 14. There are 123 beds currently available in the hospital, giving us an occupancy rate of 38%. So the Nightingale Hospital, where I am now, has been built as part of the government's contingency plans to support our response to coronavirus. The increased rates of infection which we expect to see across the island are based on modelling of Jersey's public health statistics which look at the anticipated number of cases and patients within the next four to six months. An increase in cases will put pressure on our health services which have an upper limit to the number of patients which can be treated within our current resources. And so the Nightingale Hospital offers the additional capacity we need in that scenario when and if the capacity within the general hospital is reached. And that will be then the Nightingale Hospital will ensure that islanders continue to receive the essential care they need in a hospital setting. Now I've been asked if we will also support Guernsey, for example, through the Nightingale Hospital if they are required additional bed capacity when they reach their peak. And I will say that our Health and Community Services Department work very closely with colleagues in Guernsey regarding our response to the virus and we are always happy to work collaboratively with our island neighbours as they are with us. The scale and expertise of the work I've seen this evening is phenomenal and I know that His Excellency and the bailiff share my utmost respect for all of the workers here and the results they produced in such a short time frame. So on behalf of all the island I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to every member of the team who've been part of this construction project. The work they are doing will save lives. Tomorrow I'm going to be visiting the General Hospital to meet the amazing healthcare staff who are leading the work in our laboratory and urgent treatment centre. And on Friday afternoon I'll be giving a press conference to answer questions from the media. This will take place at approximately 3.30pm and I hope you're able to tune in either via social media or on BBC Radio Jersey. So thank you for listening. Please continue to stay at home and please stay safe.